that's basically what I wanted to know. I, I'm having a little uh, backup buddy issue, but I'm trying to work through that today. Um, and that it, it's purely I cannot, for some reason, seem to be able to find the file import buddy when I go to import the uh, backup to a new site, say, to a new host. Okay, so the way that works is you, first you had to download Import Buddy from their site onto your computer, and then you have to upload it from your site to the same directory that you are uploading the zip file to. Do you think you're doing that? I am doing that. Can we share the screen so you can show me what it looks like when you do that? You want to see it in the C panel? Well, I'm going to make you a, a, a presenter, and then we can look at your screen. Okay, now you can probably share your screen with us. Sandy, this is where you'll share your screen. I'm muted. That's fine. Okay, no, you're not muted anymore. Okay. But go ahead and share your but screen. Go ahead and share your screen. That's, where do I go? Oh, up here. Okay, I'm sorry. There you go. So we can see. I'm it just, you can hear me? I'm just yep. basically moving yep. this from one host to another. That's Surely all I wanted to do. So down in the file manager, I put him in public HTML. And here's the backup folder right here. And um, let me find my it. And here's the import body. OK. Now my problem is. I, this, I, I, I apologize because this is really probably way below all your learners, but my problem is when I type, what I've been typing there is fishingmice.com forward slash import buddy dot PHP. And when I do that, I get a 404, that gnarly thing. Yeah. And the reason for that is that you already have a site set up at Fishing Mics, right? I mean, right now, I can see that you've got WP Admin, WP Content, WP Includes all set up already in the same folder. And so because of that, what's happening is that WordPress is taking over and is index PHP is firing first and then WordPress is looking for a page that is you know fishing mic slash import buddy and so WordPress is essentially ignoring the fact that you've got a file in there that is import buddy PHP now what you would do is if you are you wouldn't open this or install phishingmites.com in the same directory as you already have WordPress installed. You would want to install this in a, a directory without, any, without anything installed. I'm going to unmute you now. I think, I think, thank you. I, I think I understand what you're saying. And what I did yesterday um, trying to play with this I think I extracted the zip file for fishing mice before I ran the import body. Now that I think of it, I think that's what I did. Well, so the solution to that would be just to delete all those fishing mice files. And then let's see, so I can, I'm going to try and go to the site, www.fishingmice.com. The real question here is whether or not Okay, perfect. So what you have here is there is no, you've extracted those files, but there is no database connection. And so what I would do, if we do that, let's see, let's just see what happens with 
import buddy.php. I take it this is not what you see when you run that, Sandy? I, I'm looking at my screen. Oh, I'm I, sorry. That's oh, right. I'm that's sorry. right. I'd rather look at yours. <laughs> well, uh, why don't you open I, up a browser? I'm um, just a new window. Okay. Here we go. I'll just keep it clean. You want me to? Yeah, now type in fishingmikes.com. Mm -hmm. Slash import buddy. Dot PHP. Oh, wow. That's where I want to go. I couldn't get to that screen yesterday, and I got so frustrated. You know how it is when you can't talk to anybody and that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's exactly where I want to go. Okay. So what I need to do, okay. what I need to do then is get rid of the, all those files in there and then run it again. No, actually you don't. Now that you are at this point right here, you can just go ahead and run it. It will replace those files and it will set up the database. The database isn't already set up. That is, the database isn't preloaded with information. I presume you've you know, done that first step of setting up the database. But if you just go through this process now, it should work fine. That's fine. That, this is just where I needed to be, so that's great. That, that'll, that'll help me. So, so uh, that'll overwrite the files that are already there? It will. Okay, that's fine. Thank you.